Assalamu alaikum. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create or how to generate text questions using Oklahoma Text Generator for Blackboard. Uh, first of all, the uh, uh, website for the test generator is this one, highlighted in blue. Okay, now I'll go to, uh, this is like the questions that I have, the list of my questions. I have five questions in this case. Normally, like this is optimal for, uh, for tests which have like 30 questions, 50 questions, instead of like entering them manually into Blackboard, you know, you can put them like copy and paste them in the uh, test generator. I've already made this. I've already made it, you know, and as you can see, here is the list of questions. Before you do that, there are a set of uh, basic information that you need to be aware of. First of all, questions start with a number followed by a period or parentheses like this. Okay. Answers start with a letter followed by a period or parentheses. Either you have parentheses like in brackets or parentheses or the, no, the, the numbering should be followed by a dot. If uh, like, you know, uh, don't worry about number three. If you don't have like, you know, any numbers or letters, either you have MC or TF or MA. It is something that you, if you want, you can read it. But uh, in this case, I'm going to skip it. Then after that, separate your questions with one black, one blank line. Yeah. After like between each quest, between two questions, you need to have one blank line, one line, not two. Okay, avoid leaving black rows except when you're going to the next question or answer. Of, yeah, it means, for example, like here, I have question number five. Don't leave any blanks. Make sure that there are no blanks unless you have the uh, uh, next question. Okay, first of all, you have to consider all these things before you copy and paste. Or even if you want, want, when you want to copy and paste, make any necessary changes before you do that. Or you can just copy and paste them right away, as you have done here. I've already done this, and I've already done, you know, any necessary changes. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. You know, just you know the uh, basics. So, okay, so here is the list of my questions. Okay, as you can see, this one, it won't accept the format because this one is not followed by a dot. So, make it a dot, another dot, another dot. Uh, here you have, you know, dot number four followed by a dot followed by a dot. Okay, make sure that there are you know spaces between each one, each two questions. For example, like here between question number one and question number two. Question two, three, question three, four, question four, and five. Okay. Now I have to make sure that, you know, uh, there is an asterisk. An asterisk before, you know, these, uh, before each correct answer. So I have to look at my question. Like, so for one, I have A, for two, I have C. For one, I have A. For two, I have C. You might ask me, how do you add these, like, you know, this asterisk? You uh, just click Shift and 8, your keyboard, Shift and 8. Okay, let me continue. 
A, I have B and D. B and D. Then for question five, I have B. Okay. So there are no spaces, as you can see. Okay, now let's generate it. I'm gonna remove the space here under the last question, number five. I'm gonna click on generate. It won't accept, I will show you how, I'll show you why. It says like test generation failed, hold the mouse and they will say, they will tell us. Okay, the question could it be resolved? The question, check the help pages, question formatting. Okay. So what you need to do here is change the question number. Okay, go back. Now we change the question number. Okay, I'm gonna make it one. I'm gonna make it two, three, four. And five. Okay, you have to remove either like here, there are spaces. Like you look here, for example, I have to remove these spaces. It is not a space, it's like, what is it? Is it like uh, uh, here, computers, whatever, whatever, whatever. This is like, you know, there is one, you know, uh, line between them, remove these lines, make it a space between them. Okay, try to generate test questions now. As you can see, test generation successful. Okay, so make sure the numbers are correct. Make sure that there are like, you know, these asterisks before like, you know, the correct answers. Make sure that there are like, you know, one line space between like the questions and make sure that there are no spaces no more spaces but like you know after or before if you don't have any more questions after the last question okay it has to give you like you know test generation successful okay you can click now on generate test questions once you click on test uh, once you click on it you can name the questions for example uh, anything you want for example the book EB, which is the book Blackboard. For example, you can name it anything you want. Okay, then you can create or like uh, download test questions. Don't go to this one, download test questions. Download it, now you have it like here. Now I'm gonna see where it is. Uh, it's like here, the book keyboard, the book, uh, sorry, I'm gonna have it here. Okay, it's in my downloads. Yeah. Right now you can go to uh, your Blackboard. Okay, Blackboard account. What do you need to go? For example, if you want to have it like in Al-Ikhtibarat or assignments, whatever you want. For example, in the assignments or in Al-Ikhtibarat or whatever you have it as tests. Go to assessments and then click on tests. After that, Click on create. Name your test anything you want. For example, I'm going to name it uh, ESP uh, Engineering or ECE001. For example, you can name it anything you want, depends on what you have. After you have done that, click on submit. And normally you would go to create questions. Now we have, we already have the questions. Click on upload questions. Again, click on upload questions. After that, it says like into the points for each questions. I don't want it to be 10. I want here for, I want one point, one mark for each question. So click on browse. Go to downloads. It's called Tabuk BB, remember? 
click open, click submit. There you have your questions. Click on OK. There is the question. This is like the test. Click on submit. And then check the settings. Make it uh, available to students, multiple attempts, whatever, like depending on your, your settings. OK? The settings can change depending on what you have. For example, I'm going to make it available for two days. OK? To one quest, to one student, or like all students, and click on submit. Click on submit again. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down, see, here it is. Okay, let's see how it looks for students. Okay, go to students preview. Okay, I'm gonna go to Al Wajibat. I remember I put it in Al Wajibat, right? If you click on it, click on begin. There is your test. Congratulations. Thank you for watching.